What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video I am bringing you guys a testing pigments video. I've never used a pigment in my life before today, or have I? I've used like glitter but I've never used a pigment. And today I wanted to go ahead and test out some pigments that I purchased from Lana Beauty. Um, they are an Etsy brand so I will make sure to link down below their Etsy shop. Um, I purchased three of the bundles. Um, no, I purchased, I think I purchased one bundle and then a bunch of like random colors from random collections. Um, in their collections they basically have like a shimmer, a metallic, no a shimmer and like a bunch of glitters in different depth or sizes. Um, I thought that one of the shades was a matte in some of the bundles that I purchased so that was a surprise. Um, you guys will see the shock on my face in the swatches that happened pretty early on. Um, but yeah that's pretty much it. Um, if you're interested in what I have on base wise I am testing out the um, Tarte Face Tape Foundation. I talked about my highlighter, um, bronzer. I actually did all cream contouring, bron not contouring, bronzing, blush, and highlighting with my only three products of that nature. Um, so those will all be listed down below. Then I put just my normal project pan. The only non-project panty one that I'm using right now is this baby right here. This is the blush from NYX. It's the Paradise Fluff line and this one is in Head the head in the Clouds. I love this as being my cool tone blush. It's really pretty. I stick to this lavender and peachy side or pinky side and it really comes out pretty on my cheeks. Um, so that is a very, very good thing. Um, I think that's all I have. So we're just gonna go right into the video. So let's get to it. Hey guys, um, so I got home and I just kind of really really wanted to play with the pigments that I hauled a while ago. I can't remember honestly when I hauled them, um, but they're from Lana Beauty and I pulled out four of them, um, two green, two blue, and I kind of just want to play with these. I also have some other singles that I need to kind of play with a little bit more. Um, so we're just going to kind of put them on my eye and see, or here actually let's swatch them first. So this one is Glow Warm. Okay, and I am gonna prepare you guys because I was not prepared. There is no sifter with these babies. Okay, so this is Glow Warm and this is definitely a dual chrome. I can't see the shift on my camera, but in the tube it's a green, but on my hand it's a blue. So definitely a dual chrome there. Next is Mother Nature. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful icy green shade. Next I have Blue Dusk. This is another icy blue, so icy green, icy blue, duochrome. And then last I have out is the deep, deep azure. Deep, yeah, az azure, azure, okay. And this is the deepest of them all. And this looks to be like a duochrome as well because this looks green on my hand, but it's clearly blue in the bottle. Um, so I was hoping that these were actually going to be mattes because these look to be the most matte in my like the collection of pigments that I got, but clearly they're not. So it is okay. I am going to use... A combination of some of my new Luxy shadows and these and then maybe some of my project pan items as well um, I have used these Luxy shadows once before um, but one time is not enough so let me zoom in a little bit more zoom in there we go and we're just gonna kind of play with these um, What am I gonna do? Okay, let's go into this shade. This is Caffeine Queen. 
so this is a neutral i did get a couple of neutrals with this new looksy order because i just wanted to know overall the formula i didn't want to just look into the beautiful colorful shades i did want to have at least a couple of neutrals to see how they work and this is a beautiful kind of transition color for me very very pretty once again that shade is caffeine queen since i have a lot of cooler tones um i think what i'm gonna do is take this like grayish color which is dopico and i am gonna take that on the same brush that i had before and I am going to put this in my transition. Okay, I don't know why I always do these looks and think I don't need a mirror. And this mirror has... Okay, there we go. So I'm just putting this gray in my crease and blending it into that brown that I put in as well. This is one of the first times I've ever used a gray, so take that into consideration. But it's blending beautifully. Very, very pretty. Okay. This side, it looks like it got a little, not a little patchy, but it's stuck to my primer a little bit in this outer area. Um, actually, it looks like it did it on both sides, so it looks even. Good to me. I like the blend, so I am okay. I'm gonna put down this biggie, biggie. I'm gonna put down that bigger fluffy brush and find a little bit smaller of a condensed brush. This is a Sephora Blending Pro. And I think I'm gonna actually, am i what am i gonna do next i think i'm gonna go into this shade actually we're gonna do we're gonna define this we're gonna define my crease and we're gonna go into this deeper shade which is roasted uh it's a very cool toned brown and since i'm not a neutral lover this is actually unique to my collection which is why i went ahead and purchased it This is like a very neutral brown kind of brown black situation. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is just go back into that original brush and just blend these two colors together. That brush that I used to apply was like a very stiff um, packer brush, so I didn't expect to really be able to blend that roasted shade in, but I at least wanted to apply it well.
okay okay i think i'm digging this i think i think i know what i'm gonna do okay um next i am going to cut my crease i'm gonna use my urban decay primer potion in eden so both lids are cut and next I am going to attempt a double cut crease. This doesn't necessarily work out the best for me, but we're going to attempt it and see how it goes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pull this Morphe M507 brush and I am going to go into my Project Pan Lorac Pro 2 palette and go into Navy, which is the only blue in that palette and then we are going to so maybe this was not <laughs> this was not a good idea um hmm. Let's just go with it and see where we go. Okay, so we're definitely not doing what I had planned, but the show must go on. So let's try and blend these things out. Hmm. Okay. So let me just do my lid colors. Let's do our lid colors. Um, I'm going to use this Eddie Funkhauser brush and I am going to take the Deep Azure and we're going to put that on my outer V. Because this doesn't have a sifter, I was able to just put the brush in the pigment and I'm going to spray the brush so the pigment doesn't fall and we're going to apply that to my outer V. And see now on my lid 
now this is looking a green like a more of a teal Next, I'm gonna take the green, which is Mother Nature. No. Yeah, we're gonna take green. Same Eddie Funk House brush, which I didn't tell you the name of it. I think, I don't know what it is, so I'll try and figure it out and put it on the screen. I'm actually gonna bring this green pigment further in on both eyes. And just like I do my normal lid color. Oh, I got a lot of that at the time. I just picked up way too much on the back of the brush. last blue that I have which is blue dusk and I'm gonna pop this in my inner corner in the front half of my lid or the front third I'm sorry This is looking real silver. A lot less blue. Okay, I have mad fallout, so we're gonna get rid of that as best as possible. Oh, sugar honey iced tea. Okay, okay, okay. The fallout went away. All right, we're doing good. Um, 
So next, let's get this lower lash line together. And I think what I'm gonna do is take a pencil brush this time. This happens to be the Sonia G pencil brush and I'm gonna go into Glow War Worm. Wow, Glow Worm. And this is a beautiful, beautiful like lime green. And I'm gonna put this, I think all over my lower lash line. And this is the duochrome that I was saying how in the container it looks to be a green but on your eye it's a blue. Okay, so I just went ahead and did my liners really quickly and my waterline. I have this Givenchy, Givenchy Cold Couture in turquoise. I got this because of Tara Babies. And then in my upper um, lash line, waterline situation, my tight line, there you go. I put in my normal Rimmel Kajal black black liner um i'm gonna hop off camera i'm gonna do some liquid liner and some mascara and i will be right back Alrighty, y'all so this look has gone from bad to worse in my opinion um where do i begin so i was going ahead and finishing up my eye look as you can see it's kind of done and i decided after i had already finished that i wanted to do like a detail kind of line in my cut crease area because I did do a cut crease and then I kind of removed it so I figured what I do is kind of do a line between the shimmers and the matte blue because that's basically the only matte you can see on my eyes right now well that crashed and burned I used a liquid liner that I got from an indie brand and you guys know I love indie brands I love to support them but this is not a good liquid liner like first of all when i was dipping into it i could barely get any pigment so you could already tell that the pigment and the liquid had already separated so when i shook it up i was like okay i'm starting to get pigment now we're good but then it was way too much and i mean i have a small very small detail brush i mean you can barely see it because that's how small it is and it just had too much globbered all over my my um lid so like even on this side i think i was able to cover it up but probably not so like the liner is like halfway in my lid so that was a problem um i was trying to bring in a highlighter that would add more to this look i first went into my abh dream palette and i went into the shade magic which is the greeny color and i know it has like more of a pinkier tone which is fine with me but i thought it would also have like you know the green as well from my recollection there was some green when i put it on my face and i blended it in i did not see any green so i was very disappointed in that thankfully i was able to um kind of put on top these two um duochrome shades that i got from kristen lee cosmetics i got her whole duochrome bundle and the green one is called envy and the blue one is called electric so i was able to mix those two together to create my highlighter i love that highlighter so much more than the dream highlighter that i put on my lid or my, on my cheeks and then for my lips i just put on my mac lip liner in brown whatever it's called the chestnut chestnut that's what it is and then i pulled out an oldie but a very good one which is my sephora lip cream in 29 and that's what i have on my lips right now 
so yeah I just kind of wanted to play with these pigments um like I said before I have never tried a pigment before and I wanted to kind of jump deep in to see how I would like it etc etc it is messy so that is annoying it does do a beautiful finish on the lid which is nice but I think I'm more disappointed in the fact that there's no mattes in these bundles that I purchased I really thought there was going to be at least one or two mattes that might have been my bad not checking the swatches as clearly and as closely as I could have um but that's the one disappointment for me because I was really really like I had a look in mind where I was going to be using these in my crease along with my project pan palette so that's why this kind of look went straight downhill at the beginning is because I was thrown off by the fact that these were not only shimmers but they were also dual chromas as well um overall the look is okay I mean I've been doing a lot of blue and green looks so I feel like this is not a very unique look for me right now which I really wanted to bring a unique look so I don't even know if I'm going to post this but here I am um and yeah that's all I got for you guys today so it has been really all. Awesome.